Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at like the 50 journals that I have completed, which is crazy. Um, I never thought I'd get to the day where I've been journaling every day to the point where I have 50 completed journals. Like 50 is a big number guys. Um, and I'm super excited about it. Today we are going to look at journals number 26 through 50 because I do have another video showing journals one through 25. So this feels like part two, you know, like, so go watch that first part if you haven't yet already. But if you have, today's video is gonna show you journals number 26 through 50, but actually in backwards order, um, just because we are gonna start with the journal that I have here at my schoolhouse. My other journals are all at my like home home. Um, and so that's why this video is kind of divided into two parts. But I did wanna show you guys that I have finished my 50th journal which is this paper shire journal here you guys know i love these journals and zenny shop in general i will leave my referral link down below if you're interested for 10 percent off your first order um it does help me out if you use that code at no extra cost um just to be transparent but yeah this is my 50th journal it is the teal bow design i did use this journal also as my reading journal for 2022 i think um and so i put a sticker on the cover just to kind of differentiate the two journals my friend mackenzie gave me this super cute sticker um and yeah i was really excited to use these journals they're always such good quality they have like the archer and olive 160 gsm paper where like nothing bleeds through and it's dark grid um so i always love using these journals they just feel like so nice quality and i i just love them um and yeah so this is the teal bow design i started this journal on March 3rd, 2024, and I love the setup I did here. Like, is that not so cute? There's definitely a video setting it up on my channel, so I will try to remember to link it down below, but you guys can yell at me if I forget. Um, and I also just made this cute little volume number 50 page here at the front. And yeah, love the setup. This journal took me, let's see, a month and two days because I finished it on April 5th, as you can see right here. And I also made a cute little collage spread using some miscellaneous ephemera to mark that I finished 50 journals, which is honestly crazy. Like ugh, so many journals. I will show you guys how I store them and the rest of the journals in the next clip when I'm back at home. Um, but I also did put a cute little flower sticker here because I thought it matched super well. And yeah, that is everything I have to show you for this 50th journal. Let's move on to number 49. Okay, so let's take a look at journals number 26 through 49. Um, I just kind of put them here for you guys to see, but we're gonna dive into each one individually. These are so freaking heavy. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go backwards. So here is journal number 49. This was a journal I got from Midori, which is like a little, um, I think it's Japanese or, yeah, I think it's Japanese, um, like kind of like a trinket store. There's just a bunch of really cute things in there, including these cute little notebooks. I love this cover. I think it's so freaking cute. Like the little girl and the little gold foil. And I just love this stamp here in the corner. I just think it's adorable. And I love the pink color. Anyway, like I said, this is journal number 49. I started on February 18th and I finished it on March 2nd, 2024. And of course, we always have an envelope in the back. The setups and the flip throughs for all of these journals are pretty much available on my channel. So I would go check those out if you want like a more detailed look at each one of them. Then we have journal number 48, which is this one right here. This is a Pantone journal that came in a set of three from Costco. I love how I sticker the covers. There's um, so many like cute yellow and black stickers. That was kind of the theme that I went for here. And let me just make sure you guys can see. I started this journal on January 1st, 2024. This was volume 48, like I said. So my first journal of 2024. And I finished it on February 17th. Super cute. And of course, we have my December daily from 2023. You guys know I love, 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 love my December dailies because I only ever use winter and Christmas ephemera in here. And so it makes it so fun and so themed. I love the stickers I put on this cover as well. Of course, I started this journal on December 1st and it went all the way until December 31st. That is always how I do my December dailies. So they just go for the one month and I only use Christmas and winter themed ephemera. It is just so fun to look through. So I would definitely recommend checking out this flip through as well. Before that, we have journal number, what would that be? 49, 48, 47, 46, um, which is a Noda journal. This one I got also in a pack of three from Indigo. <clears throat> Yes, from Indigo. Um, and this one says, Be a Wildflower. It's a very pretty purple cover. Here's the back. And it has these cool deckled edges. Anyway, um... I started this journal on November 13th and it went all the way until November 30th and I was kind of running out of pages to use and of course I really wanted to start my December daily on the first so I used up every single page and then even used this back cover as like my final spread um, but yeah super cute finish this on November 30th and if you're curious about like any of the supplies I use again you can watch my flip through because usually I'll talk about like all the different sticker shops and stuff that I use but if you have a specific question you can also leave like the timestamp in the comments down below and I will get back to you on where those stickers or stationery is from. 
Okay, next we have another one of those journals that I picked up from Midori. Super pretty. They always have like the most gorgeous foil. And this one is actually like a shattered or like a like a glittery foil um, instead of just like a solid foil, if that makes sense. You can really see it in the star here. Um, but I love the cover of this one. I think it is so cute. And of course, these journals are just so quick to work through because they're so thin, which I kind of love because it really motivates me to keep going. Um, I just wish it got a little bit chunkier, but what can you do? It only has so many pages. This was volume number 45 and I started it on November 4th. I love the color of the setup. Um, and I finished it on November 12th and a little pocket in the back. Okay, moving on, we have another, or not another, but we have a full wood green journal. You guys know I love these from Dollarama. Um, I have a bunch of different stickers on the cover. This year I was really into like stickering my covers and using up a bunch of my vinyl stickers. And so that's what I've been doing and I just love how it turns out. Um, this journal was volume number 44. I love this page. And I started it on October 6th. And I finished it on November 3rd. And I love how I did the little doodles here for the setup. I think it's super, super cute. Um, and yeah, that's that, 44. Now we have journal number 43, which is a Monet Impression Haul journal. These came in four different designs and I got it from Dollarama for $4, which I thought was a really good deal. Obviously, like it got super, super chunky because there were so many pages. The spine is kind of broken in, like the covers being pulled back. But I think that really adds to the charm of it because it just looks so well loved and used. Um, and like I could try to push it back so it has a straight spine. But honestly, I just love it. I think it looks so fun and full and it's like really weighty, which I feel like just really is satisfying because it shows you really loved and used um, the journal. Anyway, I started this journal on, and this was volume 43. I think I said that already. I started it on August 30th, and I finished it on October 5th. Super cute. Wait, I started this on, okay, August 30th, and I finished on October 5th, not September 5th. I was like, no way, I only took like five days to fill that out. Um, okay, next we have this journal right here, which is volume number 42. This one also got super chunky, which I'm quite happy about. Um, I love this Pals Art Nook sticker that I put on the cover. This was another journal from Dollarama. You guys probably know this, but I love to get my journals from like the dollar store for a really good price because I go through them so fast and I can't afford spending $30 on every single journal that I use because I would be broke. But yeah, this one is super pretty. I love the kind of like marbling in the back. And I started this journal on August 5th. Super cute little setup here. This was volume 42, like I said. And I finished it on August 29th. So that would be, let's see, that'd be 24 days, which is pretty speedy, but I did go on a little trip to the States in this. So there was a lot of ephemera from that trip in here. Okay, moving on, I'm just trying to remember. This is the next one. This is volume number 41. I love how this journal came out. This is from Umomo. Um, and like, look how stunning that cover is with the little silver airplane. I think it is just so beautiful. It also had pink grid paper, which is very unique. Um, but I love the setup. I started this journal on July 29th. And I finished it on August 4th. So that was literally what, like a week, which is crazy, um, because this one, although it was skinny, it did have quite a few pages, as you can see, but I was just doing a lot and sticking in a lot of, like, old cards, like Christmas cards, birthday cards in here, um, because I was kind of going through a decluttering phase, if you might, um, if you will, um, and yeah, so, love this, this, love this, this, I <laughs> love this journal so much, like, it just, it's so beautiful, and the flip through for this is super, super fun, so I would go check that out. So that was 41 and then we have journal 40 which was kind of like my last marker um or like mile marker if that makes sense um and so this is journal number 40 like i said this is a journal that i actually thrifted i got it from the thrift store for like three dollars um and it, ori it originally had like some random logo on the front and i just covered it which i think i really like how this collage came out it's like super random but also super cute i love this little hammer shark or hammerhead shark just gonna make sure you guys can see okay um, this one got super chunky as well, so was really loving the chunkiness over the summer. But this is volume 40, like I said, card from Paper Shire. I started this journal on June 28th, and I finished it on July 28th, so it took me exactly a month. And like, seriously, look at that. That is so satisfying. And I totally just lifted this up, so why don't we glue it back down while we're all here together? Honestly, I should consider, like, taping over this so that it all, like, stays down, but... I also like, I don't know, I kind of like how it is right now without the glare of the tape. Anyway, super chunky journal, love how this turned out. 
then we have journal number 39, which is a faux wood grain journal here. Again, from Dollarama, of course. I love the sticker on the cover. Um, I started this journal, which was volume 39, like I said, on May 27th. Super pretty. I love this mermaid art. And I finished it on June 27th. So another solid month, right? Yeah. But then, wait, what day did I start this one? August 5th, wait. Oh, sorry, not this one. So that was May 27th. I thought this was started on the 29th. Oh no, it was the 28th. Okay, anyway, ignore me. I'm going crazy. But yeah, another chunky journal. I just, ugh, looking back through these journals is so fun. Sometimes I don't always like, especially when I'm at school, I don't have the time to go back and look at all my journals, but looking at them now makes me so happy. Like I just want to flip through these and look at the pictures and all the stuff I tipped in and read through them. And I think I might do that after I'm done filming this video. Okay. Next, we have another thin journal here. This was journal number, what are we on? Oh, it doesn't say. The last one, I believe, was 39. So I think this is 38. Um, I started this on May 16th. This was a journal that my friend Rachel gave to me as a graduation present. So I had it in my collection for a while um, because this was after my second year of university. So I'd had it for about two years at least. Um, I started on May 16th, like I said, and I finished it on May 26. So it took me only 10 days, which again was very speedy because I was also sticking in a bunch of cards and like like ephemera random things into here as well. But I'm really excited to look at this after because it's super fun. And it got pretty chunky because of all the stuff that I was sticking in it, even though it is quite the thin journal. Next, we have another thick, thick journal. This was a notebook therapy journal that I actually had gifted to me, which was really, really cool. Um, as in like the company sent it to me, which is very cool. Anyway, um, it has these beautiful gold gilded edges and there are actually like flowers engraved in the gilding, but you can't really see because I spread it so far apart. Um, but I love the cover. It's like this purpley lavender lilac-y color with this cute little moon design. I think it's just absolutely stunning and I love a linen cover, even though it did get a little bit dirty. Anyway, this journal is so heavy. It probably weighs like five pounds. I feel like it weighs five pounds. Anyway, it's just like so fat and I just love it. Um, okay. Love the sticker bomb cover. Um, just ran some random stickers there. This was volume number 37, which I started on March 23rd because I really wanted to use this journal through my birthday, which is April 30th. Um, and I'm pretty sure I, succeed, I succeeded because I finished this journal on May 15th. Um, and here we even have a birthday card from one of my friends. But yeah, so cute. So many memories in here and I absolutely love it. Okay. Moving on, we have this journal here, which was another one of the Noda journals that came with that purple one in the set. Um, this has a blue floral cover, which I think is very pretty. Um, I started this journal on March 5th. This was volume number 36. I was really loving putting these bigger paper shower cards on the left side of my setups because it just filled the space so well. Um, so started that on March 5th and finished it on March 22nd, which means it only took me a little over two weeks to fill this, which is very nice. Okay. Moving on, we have volume number, what is this, 36, 35? I think it might be 35. Yes, volume number 35. This was another journal from Dollarama. You guys know I love them. Um, it's kind of falling apart a little bit. Like I had to tape this top corner up here, but that's okay. Um, super cute. I loved the setup. This was when I was kind of starting to incorporate more drawing into my journal, which I've been working on a lot and I've been really enjoying it. Um, and this was inspired by Carrie Walker, but I love, 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 love the setup. I love the colors and I think it's super cute. So like I said, I started this journal on January 26th and finished it on March 4th. So it took me about a month, a month and a week super cute lots of memories in here as well and then we have my first journal of 2023 here um i started this on january 1st 2023 and this was volume number 34 love the golden setup and i finished it on january 25th and this was a journal from indigo it came in a pack of three i love like the indigo pack of packs of three um because when they're on a discount i think it's a really great price and you get so many unique designs i love my faux wood grain journals but i do get a little bit bored of using the same kind of journals over and over again um so that's why i've been stickering the covers recently just so it looks like a completely different journal but i also just love these because they're thin and you get so many pretty designs so anyway um yeah this was super cute came in a pack of three i've already used the other two um and I think you'll see one more of them in this video, I think. Um, but yeah, super cute. Lots of memories in here, of course. And then moving on to some journals from 2022, which is crazy to think, but of course, like it makes sense that it took me two plus years to use up 25 journals. Um, 
But yeah, it's like crazy to look back at these older journals. It doesn't even feel like that long ago, but at the same time, it feels like a long time ago. Anyway, this was my 2022 December daily. This was volume number 34 and look how chunky and like thick it got. I just absolutely love it. Um, we went to Montreal for a few days, so there's a lot of ephemera from that trip in here as well. Um, but yeah, this was another faux wood green journal. You guys have now seen all three colors in my rotation. Um, but this little gnome sticker is freaking adorable. I love it. Um, so yeah, like I said, oh, sorry, this is volume number 33. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, you guys know, like I said, for my other December daily, um, I always like to start my December dailies on December 5th and they fist first and they go all the way until December 31st and yeah super super cute like this one is so chunky I absolutely love it and again only Christmas and winter ephemera in here which I think is always very very fun and I seriously have so much like Christmas stuff that it's just great to have a place where I only use it and use some of it up you know okay Moving on, we have journal number, what is it, 32. This one is super, super thin. I got this from like, just like they were giving it away at school and it has very few pages as you can tell, but I stickered the cover, which I love. Lots of different stickers from different shops. Just, if you have a question, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you on where that sticker is from. But like I said, this is volume number 32. I started it on November 17th and I finished it on November 30th. I'm sure I just needed a really quick journal to get me to the end of November so I could start my December daily, which is why I picked up this one. But like. It's super thin and super small, but you know, it did exactly what it needed or I needed it to do. Okay, next we have another Pantone journal. I'm actually not a big fan of these, so I'm glad I finally used up all the ones in my collection. Um, but this is from the three pack from Pantone from Costco, like I said. Stickers from Pals Art Nook. Um, this was volume number 31, which I started on September 3rd. The setup is very pretty. I do really like that. Um, and then I finished it on November 16th. So that was a little less than a month and two weeks. These ones I do think take me a little while longer to get through just because I don't love working in them. So I will never again buy these, but I'm glad to have used the ones that I did. Next we have my um, Olivia Rodrigo Sour Diary, the one year version. I got this while it, I was in the US and I just needed it because I freaking love Olivia Rodrigo and like she has a journal, so how perfect is that? Um, this journal is super cool because at the front she has a bunch of just like pages about her like writing process and pictures and the lyrics from stuff or maybe not lyrics, but yeah, just like her thoughts about songs and I really want to go back and look at this because I think it's so fun and I think her handwriting is so freaking cute um oh it's so interesting that she says good for you is my favorite song on the record because when I went to Guts World Tour recently um she said that enough for you is her favorite song so that's interesting anyway um I will go back and take a look through this but that is super super fun I love that Anyway, I started this journal on September 3rd and I wanted to use this at the beginning of my second year because, you know, a composition book just really reminds me of school. And so this is volume 30. I started it on September 3rd, like I said, and I finished it on October 2nd. So it took me a little under or, you know, a day under a month to finish this, which is very fun. Lots of fun stuff in here. Then we have a travel journal. So like I said, I went to the States and I picked up that journal. This was my travel journal for when I went to the state of Ohio with my family. It was just like a most like the most random trip. Um, but of course, I had to do a travel journal to commemorate. I love doing travel journals, as you guys might know. Um, but this is a journal that came in a pack of three from Noda. Um, this is actually not the same. It wasn't the same pack as this pack, um, but I love it just the same. Super cute. And there's actually a very faint floral design, but I don't know if you can really see that. Anyway, um, this journal, I actually don't know when it's from because I didn't write the dates, but we started our trip on Sunday, July 31st, and we came back on, let's see, Friday, August 5th. So it was about a week in this journal, and I filled it up super fast because there's lots of photos, there's ephemera in this. Um, you can go check out the flip through if you're interested. I always love my travel journal flip throughs, and I love how I did this little thing at the end. Super cute. Okay, anyway, we have... A spiral journal here which is a very rare occurrence for me um, but this was a journal that I got on clearance at Michael's and I thought the cover was so freaking pretty and I've never tried a spiral journal before um, so I just picked it up because why not but funnily enough I'll talk about it later um, like the journal before this was also spiral but when I bought this I never used a spiral journal before anyway I just think the cover is so freaking pretty I love the florals on the map it would have been a really nice travel journal um, but I was impatient and I really wanted to use it anyway this one got super chunky but I think it has thinned out a bit over time after being like squeezed onto my shelf which is kind of funny 
but yeah it was really fun to work through i absolutely adore the setup here like i think it's stunning um but i started this on july 19th 2022 and this is volume number 28 and i finished it on let's see i finished it on september 2nd so it took me a month and two weeks ish to get through this which is very fun there were a lot of pages in it um which is why i got so chunky which again i love um but yeah it took me a while to get through it but i absolutely loved working this journal and i definitely would pick up another spiral journal to use again if i ever saw one um for a good price because three dollars i feel like was a great deal for this anyway we have two journals left we have number 20 seven or i guess yes this would be 27 and it was actually another spiral journal i won this in a giveaway from file facts which was really cool and this one was really interesting because all the paper here like you could just take out and then you could also pop back in so that was really cool um this is a really cute card from my friend rachel i started this journal on june 24th and i finished it on um july 18th so a little well, a, quite a bit less than a month. Like it only took me three weeks to get through this, which is super fun. And I think I got COVID in this, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, super cute. Oh yes, I did. Here's my, wait, I'm going to show you guys because that was a time. I honestly like, this feels like so long ago. And I guess it was almost two years ago at this point. But on this day, I tested positive for COVID and I put all these cute little stickers here, which I think is really funny. Anyway um let's look at the final journal for today's video this is journal number 26 and i mentioned this again at the beginning of the video but i'll say it again if you want to see journals number 1 through 25 i do have a video on that already um so this is only journals number 26 through 50 in this video but this is another full woodgrain journal and you'll see that i used a very similar sticker to this journal right here which is number no idea 39 maybe yes 39 oh i guess i did have an idea um but basically i had three of the full wood green journals and three of these bubble tea stickers so i put like the one that matched each journal the best on each one so i had like three bubble tea journals um i just thought that was kind of like full circle but anyway this was another full wood green journal you guys know i absolutely love these you've already seen i think like four in this video um which is kind of crazy but yes these are from dollarama and i love like the chunkiness of this i love all the color at the top i started this volume 26 on may 18th and i finished it on june 23rd so is that that's a month and a week ish um i love this little collage that i did here at the back super random but super pretty and with that being said that is another like set of 25 of my journals. I cannot believe I've hit 50 journals. I think it is absolutely insane. And I can't wait to keep journaling for the rest of my life. I don't know if I'll keep journaling daily for the rest of my life, but I definitely will keep journaling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other journaling videos you guys would love to see in the comments down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!